are going to read a story together today called If I Built a Car. My younger friends that's, that's watching, do you see this word? Do you know this word? C-A-R. Car. Good. If I Built a Car, and it is by Chris Van Dusen. Mm. Built a car. Jack, from the back seat, said to his dad, this car is okay. This car is not bad, but it's just a car. Nothing great, nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. Mm. I'll work through the night. To create a design, constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets and look at old planes, contemplate buses and zeppelins and trains to make it as smooth and as slick as an eel. I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. So sit back, relax, stay right where you are. It's, it's time to reveal my next spectacular car. You'll see that I've added a lot of neat things. Flush fender skirts and retractable wings. Three headlights up front, four tail lights in the back. Plus two giant fans like our old Cadillac. My brand new design will be curvy and round with special jet engines that don't make a sound. I'll paint it bright colors with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. Wow. Mm. I'll build a safe car, just as safe as I can, cause safety is job number one in my plan. It may look like steel from afar, you can't tell, but it's actually, look at that. Is it steel? Cause steel is really what? Hard. Does this look hard? Mm -mm. That is actually made of polymer gel. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. A space age concoction that I just invented. So in a collision, my car won't get damaged. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit and folks will be fine in the seats where they sit. Interesting. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. I've put in a couch. It's comfy and wide. Plus a fireplace, fish tank, and here's something cool. The floor can slide open. And look, there's a pool. Wow. Now step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked instant snack bar. Ooh, yum. Say you were hungry and wanted a treat. Just press it and instantly good things to eat. Appear in a flash, anything that you please. From hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. Have you ever had cheese from a can? That's good. After you've eaten, you might like a nap. And Robert, the robot, makes napping a snap. I've built him right into the back of the chair. He's out of the way. You won't know that he's there. A robot. But when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Robert, the robot, will take the controls and he's guaranteed not to hit telephone poles. I see you're impressed with all that's inside. So start up the motor and let's go for a ride. <coughs> oh, a car that smells good. Now, that's something new. If I built a car, that's just what I would do. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline. Look, everybody's smelling. and change it to something more pleasing to noses like blueberry muffins or freshly picked roses. Mm. 
Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. My car can do something that very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. <gasps> and we're skimming the waves and we're having a ball, but wait, hold your horses. Cause that isn't all. Boating is fine till we get the urge to dive underwater. <gasps> then just hit submerge. Robert will dive as we burble about. We can see catfish and we can see trout. We might even spy the shy stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. There they are. Wow, a car that can even go underwater. <gasps> Last but not least, the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small. Push it and then in the wink of an eye, the car will take off and we'll be up in the sky. <gasps> and a car that can fly too. Wow. We'll fly over land and we'll fly overseas to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda and Belize, or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly us all down to the Florida Keys. Nice. My car will be cool. My car will be keen and my car will be one big fantastic machine. The toast of the day on the cream of the crop. The bell of the ball and the tip of the top. The car will be famous from here to Peru. It's like he's in a parade. If I built a car, that's just what I'd do. <laughs> so, do you think, first of all, there he is making his plans. Do you have an imagination like that where you could create something spectacular and amazing like that? You could turn just a normal car into something unbelievable that can fly and swim and go underwater and hit things, but then it doesn't hurt them. And I mean, that would be amazing. How cool is that? He's got a great imagination. So, if you don't have schoolwork to do or something else chores or whatever and you want this interests you and you want to draw a special kind of car or tell me about what your car would have you can message me or draw the picture and post it or send it to me however you want and um, I would love to see your ideas like this little guy had I hope you're having a great day miss you so much love you bye